Look, I know exactly what you're going through. I know exactly the reason why you watched this video. It's because it's a Friday night, it's a weekend, and you just want to watch a good Christian movie, right? And so you do a Google search, you get your keyboard, you type in the keyboard, and you like Christian streaming platform. And then you look it up and you find out there's like 500 of them. And you're like, I can't pay for all of these. I don't know which one to get. Well, the good news is I did the homework for you. I did your homework. Shame on you for not doing your homework, but I did your homework for you. And I broke down about 15 or so, close to 15 different Christian streaming platforms to talk about what's the right one for you. So we're gonna be breaking them down from worst to best. So let's start, first of all, by eliminating four options that didn't make it into the list. The first one is Christian Cinema. That's a VOD platform. Christian Cinema is a great platform, but it is not a subscription service style platform. The other one is Clearplay. That is a filtering service. You can't actually stream original content through Clearplay. Instead, it's a Chrome extension that works with other platforms like Netflix or HBO Max. Hallmark? Get that. No, Hallmark doesn't count. Parables TV? They don't even have a website. So Parables TV does not count. So we're gonna start the list with number 12, Truth TV. The only thing that's true about this platform is that it could be so much better, but it is, it's, it's just not. Now, the problem with this platform is that it's based out of South Africa. Wait, I said that wrong. It's, that's not the problem. I'm not casting shade on South African companies. Because it's based out of South Africa, for some reason you cannot watch half of the content outside of that country, which makes no sense to me. But that also means there's literally only two movies on this platform. And there's basically no TV series to watch. Yeah, there's The Chosen, you can watch it anywhere. There is Vindication, you can watch it anywhere. Heartland, you can watch it anywhere. So there's basically nothing to watch on this platform. Furthermore, they charge you in South uh, uh, South African Rands. I don't even know what a Rand is, like Rand Paul. Like I don't even know what that is. Comes out to a weird total of A62 a month. And you US dollars. Try figuring out what that charge is on your bank statement. So sorry, but this platform is just does not work outside of South Africa. And number 11 is Right Now Media. The reason this platform is so low on the list is not even because it's not a well-built platform, but it is built as a ministry-focused platform, which means they don't have any individual plans. If you want to pay $100 a month, which is designed as a church plan to watch VeggieTales, go for it. They've got VeggieTales, Bible Man, Superbook, 123 Penguins. Their selection is pretty limited when it comes to just entertainment content, and a lot of it is children's focused. There's just nothing for individuals, so it's just a platform that does not work. Sorry, right? Right now media but you, you don't make it on this list number 10 crossflix plus at first this platform seems super cool because it's free well, i think it's mm -hmm. illegal that i think it's legal i, I hold <clears throat> don't come for me fbi but basically you actually start scrolling through the list their selection looks large but none of it is interesting except for maybe one or two movies and the fact that it's free is actually a problem they don't even put ads on this which means there's no way this platform is generating revenue and is ever going to be able to put good movies on it or even create original content i'm saying this as a consumer i want you to charge me money there's no way it's ever going to work when you're just giving this stuff away for free next up is redeem tv which is kind of a better version of crosslicks it's still free Free and they don't I don't think they put ads on their movies their selection is slightly better the web design is a little bit better it's still very limited but there is a feature where you can donate $25 for an extended selection like what streaming platform has the option to donate Come on, just charge a monthly fee please just go ahead and do it number eight is faith life TV which comes out at $4.99 a month it's actually pretty low in price but it just doesn't work because it's another one of those ministry focused platforms first of all their browse tab is a big mess they have like a zillion different tabs but only one of them is movies and they have almost no movies to watch it's basically nothing to watch if you want to pay five dollars a month to maybe watch one movie for the ministry tools which is cool but i'm judging this off of entertainment content and the web design is just really poor like it just doesn't look very good when you're browsing through the movies so it just it misses the mark. Number seven is Living Scriptures, which is actually a pretty well-designed platform. I just couldn't put it higher in the list because, <coughs> should I say it? It's a Mormon-focused streaming platform. I'm not hating on Mormons, but I'm sorry. It's just, I'm not sorry. It's not biblical. That's not real Christianity. So I, I had to judge it off of how much of their content is actually enjoyable by mainstream Christians because a lot of their content is Mormon indoctrination. And so their selection is still really good, even considering that. But I just couldn't put them higher in the list. It comes out, I believe, $9.99 a month. That just seemed like a lot for the selection not being as wide as some of the other platforms like Pure Flix, which is still cheaper than that. Number six is Dove Channel. 
I gotta admit, Dalvo, I was pretty disappointed. I was expecting better from a name that I've seen so many times. Now, first of all, I'll give it to them. They have one of the widest selections in this list, but it's like one of those selections where the selection is that just the quality of the movies is really poor. There's one or two worth watching. And the web design is also pretty bad. At the same time, it's only $4.99 a month, but... Next up, we have Minnow Kids, which it really is lacking a lot of original content. This is a children's focused content website. So they do have a couple things going for them. They supposedly have thousands of episodes of content, but the only notable franchise on it that I've ever heard of is VeggieTales. And even then, I think they have a pretty good selection, but I don't believe they put the newest episodes. So it's kind of a lower version of the next platform I'm about to talk to. But if you want to go Minnow, yeah, that was a pun, then it comes out at $6.99 a month. But the better version of Minnow is Yippee! 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 I know, I just, I need help at this point. Now, first of all, I will give Yippee this. They have some of the best marketing I've ever seen. I've seen so many Yippee ads and I have no idea why because I promise I'm not one of those just creepy people who just watches children's content. I mean, I might watch VeggieTales, so I mean, just excuse me if I do watch VeggieTales. Mm -hmm. But I've seen so many of their ads. They don't have kids, so I don't know if they're wasting money on me, but their marketing is very good. And they have one of the widest sets of content out of all these platforms. Unfortunately, a lot of their content isn't actual like TV quality. A lot of it is more YouTube quality, and they're kind of marketed as a YouTube alternative. So the selection is limited from a TV quality entertainment standpoint. At the same time, one of the biggest, one of the biggest advantages they have is that apparently the new VeggieTales episodes are put on this platform. So that's a big marketing standpoint, but uh, it's a very well-designed platform. Their marketing is very good They just need to start adding more original like actual like film level content if they want to reach more people Next up number three is VidAngel. I love VidAngel. Look, so it also has one of those filtering options like ClearPlay I can't judge it for that because that's not what I'm talking about But I love having that feature in that option But VidAngel has rapidly been emerging as one of the biggest names in Christian entertainment Especially with the crowdfunding of The Chosen and they recently begin to crowdfund a lot of different projects They're crowdfunding this David animated movie. They're crowdfunding a Christian sci-fi film called The Shift They create a lot of original content. They also run Dry Bar Comedy, which is a very big YouTube channel and comedy group and so they've got they're, they're working on their content selection their content selection still needs a lot added to it which is why I couldn't put a higher in the list but they have a very well designed platform and I think out of all the ones in this list they have the most upward potential out of any of them VidAngel comes in at $9.99 a month which in my opinion is totally worth it so next up at number two we have up faith and family which is basically just a Christian Hallmark they have a bunch of original films. They're basically all romance movies, which if you like romance movies, hey, it's your cup of tea. I wish I had a cup of tea as a cheesy little prop, but I don't. They actually have a pretty good selection on this platform. It's reasonably priced at $5.99 a month. Like I said, it's not as diverse in content as some of the other platforms, but I think most people, even me included, would be able to find at least one or two movies on there that we find interesting. Out of the, out of the list, they have one of the best designed websites and a pretty extensive library of content, which would make them viable and worth considering. The so number one, you guys all saw it coming, it's Pure Flakes. Like, I know everyone talks about Pure Flakes, it's like the only platform so many people know. It's just you cannot compete with their library. The fact they're owned by Sony and they have a huge company backing them, and then they've created more original content than just about any other platform now. The quality of that content has been hit or miss, but the amount of content on this platform is just unbeatable. Like, it, not just small content, there's actually big titles that end up on this platform. Then you also have content like vacation being made, you have David White making movies for this platform, Kevin Sorbo working with Pure Flakes. It's, it's just you cannot beat the sheer amount of content that this platform puts out. So that leaves Pure Flicks uncontested at the number one spot. So anyway, that's my list. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Tell me what platform you're going to be watching with tonight. I'm going to go fry my head because it feels like it's already fried. I need to, I don't know what I need to do. I need to stop this video.